Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I wanted to kind of address an issue that a lot of people were con concerned or curious about lately, and that has to do with you know, products that are being shipped from other countries, specifically China, as we all know that the tariff situation is constantly evolving and a lot of people are wondering how that may or may not affect their shops. Um, so with that in mind, I've tried a little bit more to focus on products that are made in the United States. I do have quite a few products I know that I know are coming from China and I'm a little bit concerned about shipping um, and I'll let you know how that is going. Um, so far, so good. But with that in mind, I have been focusing a little bit more on things made in the United States. Um, and so I am going to show you um, on Print KK some of the United States um, products, and I'm going to show you one specific and how we can go ahead and design for that and make it. And I'll show you an example on my Etsy shop and whatnot. Um, so hopefully I can help um, give you guys a little bit of, of ideas of things that you can still be doing. So right now I am on Print KK. Now, this is a uh, print platform, much like Printful or Printify. Um, this is one of the three, four, five, five, five different pl print platforms I have integrated with my Etsy shop. So I do have quite a few different print providers integrated with my Etsy shop. And that's because they all have different products at different price points. And some are better at some things and worse at other things. And so it is totally okay to have multiple providers, um, you know, integrated. Um, Print KK is one that is a little bit newer. It's less familiar. And yet I have had a lot of recent sales um, on things from Print KK. Now, the concern that I've had from some people is that Print KK actually is a uh, Chinese company where most of the products are based in China. And up until now, I haven't had any issues with that. Shipping has been, you know, pretty much consistent with the other platforms. Quality has been good. And I have made a lot of sales on various products through Print KK. Now, obviously, as we're starting to worry a little bit more about the tariff stuff, I've started to look at more US-based products. Now, fortunately, Print KK, like other places, does offer products that are just made manufactured in the United States. So right now, I am on Print KK, and I am on their product catalog. And if I was to scroll down here, there is a section that says made in the USA. And so I can click on that and it is going to give me products that are made in the US. Now, what you can see is some of these products, or maybe you can't see right now, but some of these products are also made in China and you can pick either or, but the made in the United States is obviously a lot more expensive. <laughs> and so that is kind of the difference there. Um, but we do have, you know, your shirts, your tank tops, your basic clothing that's made in the United States, sweatshirts. Um, some of the more rare products that I like are things like there's lamps, there's lamps and there's lamp shades that you can sell. And these are a little bit more unique, um, higher profit, lower competition type products. So I do have several lamps that I sell, different types of lamps that I sell at my Etsy shop. And of course, they are made in the United States, which is helpful. You also have your mugs, your travel mugs, you know, some canvas wall art, um, the skateboards where you got the skate deck. That's pretty cool. Um, we have wooden signs, so you can do the wooden signs, bathing suits, some furniture stuff. And so there's a couple pages of, of different things, the skateboard um, prints, which by the way, I have sold this. So if you're asking, you know, if you're, if you're wondering how the quality is and everything, I have sold the skateboard ones and so far so good. I haven't had any negative reviews on those. And, you know, at a price point of I'm selling it for over $200, you know, it's a good low competition, high profit niche, which is great. And of course I can say, yes, made in the United States. And so again, more skateboard art. There's some of the lamps that I do sell. And one of the things that I did want to show you as I come down here, by the way, the wagon is really cool. Um, you could probably sell it on Amazon. I don't know if there's a section for wagons on Etsy. I looked and I couldn't find any. So you know, I don't know. It could be something totally new to Etsy if you could find a way to market that. But the wagons made in the United States, those are pretty good. And you could definitely custom make that for families. So I've looked into making some of these that maybe have a family name on them. 
I just haven't put it up yet because I'm not sure exactly what titles or tags I would use or how to market it, but it's definitely something I've looked at. Anyways, scrolling down, I do want to get to this last one here. So this is the Chase Lounge Cushion. And so this is one that I do have in my shop right now. Um, it is made in the United States. As summer is coming, this is when people are thinking a lot more about outdoor outdoor furniture, outdoor decor, you know, people are out, you know, barbecuing and doing other things. Now, this is a product that could, of course, sell year round, but people are a little bit more likely to do outdoorsy stuff in the summer, um, and especially depending on where you live. If you're someplace where it snows, you probably don't have a lot of outdoor decor during the winter. If you're in a nice sunny Southern California like I am, we have outdoor decor year round. Um, but anyways, so I was going to show you really quickly how we could do this lounge cushion and, and kind of show you an example that I have on my shop. Um, and it's really easy to do, but this is a good one made in the United States that I did want to show you guys. Um, and so we can see it is it is expensive. So even though it's made in the United States, shipping starts at $50 and it's got a $100 uh, price point. So I do sell it. It's pretty expensive. But the good news is... You may not sell a lot, but the ones you sell bring in high profits. So we can either look at things like we can sell, you know, low cost products and sell a lot of them, or we can sell high cost products where we don't sell as many, but we get a lot more in profit. Um, and so I'm starting to lean a lot more towards the expensive things. That's the way I'm starting to lean with my shop. Um, because there's just so many low cost things, it becomes a race to the bottom, especially when we're doing things like shirts on Etsy and whatnot. So I'm starting to look a little bit more towards the higher profit, lower competition products that maybe won't make as many sales, but will make a good profit when the sales do come in. And so anyways, this is the product I'm looking at. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start designing so you guys can just sort of see the way that this works. So here is the product. It is just one long print. So pretty much all you need is either one design that you design in these dimensions or what also works really well would be something like a seamless pattern where you can just pattern it over the whole thing. So either of those would work very well. Now on my Etsy shop, I have an example. Let me see if I can find it. So this is just an example of one of my listings on my Etsy shop. So here, what we can see is the Chase Lounge. This one was more designed specifically for this as opposed to an all over print pattern. And the reason I did this is I have a whole outdoor um, kind of decor section. So much like if you were to go into a store and you wanted matching items, I have this design here available right now on rugs, on pillows, and on the chase lounger and on towels too. So if you wanted a whole matching outdoor kind of section. Um, so that's why I have this design here. So I've got like a whole matching section. And so some of those things you can do where like decor stuff where you can sell things that are meant to match so that people might not just buy one thing, they might buy several things matching within the catalog. And so that is something that you guys can look into doing as well. But here are some of the mock-ups for it. So you can see, um, pretty simple chase lounge pad. I do have the, you know, key features, why choose us. And down here, I do put matching pillow and rug available. So I do let them know that, you know, you can have the matching set. I also have, you know, there's some more thumbnails. I have my review card where again, you put some reviews up. My reviews are pretty meant to be generic so that I can use this review card on multiple products. So they're not necessarily product specific, but they just let you know that, you know, the quality of the items in general is good. The customer service is good. The shipping is good. So it kind of just, um, you know, fast shipping, right? No issues with the purchase, answered questions quickly, you know, wonderful at getting back to me with the design that's for custom designs. So I let them know that, that that's all there. And then of course I've got my, you know, review card not my review card, my branding card here. Um, and I do have this on sale right now. It's being sold at $259.99 with free shipping, marked down 25% from $346. So it's an expensive product, um, but people, you know, will buy expensive products. In fact, sometimes the more expensive they are, the higher quality people will, you know, assume that it is. Um, and so it can actually work out in your benefits. 
Um, but again, it is, you know, it is made in the United States and it is shipped from the United States. And I went ahead and put in here made in the United States right there. Um, ships from California arrive soon. So they're saying that you could get it May 22nd through the 27th. Right now is the 13th. So they're pretty much saying in less than 10 days, you could have this. So it is, again, relatively quick to ship, you know, made in the United States, only ships to regions within the United States. Um, and so Again, I'm just going to show you how we could go ahead and design for this. Now, obviously, this design I made specifically for this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a different version. I'm just going to show you like a seamless pattern that we could put on it. That would be super fast and easy. And there's lots of different ways we can get seamless patterns. We can get them on Canva. We can get them off of Creative Fabrica. We can also get them on Playground and do AI seamless patterns, which can be fun. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to jump over to Playground this time. And so here I am on Playground. Now, this is an AI, you know, site. Um, and I do have several videos on this, and I'm going to do a video that kind of covers it a little bit more. But just for now, I'm going to go ahead and jump over to where it says Seamless Patterns. And we're just going to go ahead and see if we can find a pattern that we like. So there are all sorts of different um, patterns, and there's different styles, too. So right now it's on trending, there's new, and then there's all different kinds, floral, folk art, seasonal fun, geometric patterns, abstract shapes, you know, modern, minimal, those are all good. If I went to abstract shapes, um, those might be good for, you know, something like what we're going to do, which was just going to be a chase lounger. And so we can scroll down and see all sorts of different seamless patterns here. And we can pick any of them that we think might look good. I kind of liked this. It was pretty simple, right? There's, there's not too much to it. Now, this is, by the way, popping up to say that, hey, we have a new 4.0 uh, um, editor using like ChatGPT. So there are a lot of new um new things going on with the playground. And again, I can go ahead and um, show you guys this in a little bit on another video. But for right now, um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to playground three. Right. So I am at three. And then all I can do is I can change the style. I can resize. I can change palette. Um, color palettes. I can also just write in what I want to change. So if let's say I wanted to change the color palette. I can come down here and if I wanted something a little bit more tealy, I could do that. And so there's different shades of things that you can do and you can pick any of the color palettes that are already here. I might just go ahead, keep it super simple and just go ahead and put, um, you know, like make blue, blue shade more teal and see what happens. And so we'll go ahead, hit this and we'll, we'll see what we come up with. And so it's given us four different versions with sort of those kind of teal shades instead of the blue. And so they all are a little bit different in terms of where the white lines sit. And so they're all unique. And you can pick any one that you want that you think might look cool. This one gives you the most uniform spacing. This one's a little bit wider spacing here. Um, that one's cool. It's not as uniform, but you know, that's nice. And then here's one that has even wider spacing. I might just go with this one a little bit more uniform. And if I like it the way it is, I can just go ahead and, ex you know, export. Um, you can go ahead and come up here where it says verify pattern and you can click that and make sure that the pattern is in fact seamless. So they do that just in case AI doesn't always get it right. Um, I'm not even sure I need this for what I plan to do with it. But let's go ahead and hit export. Now, if you have the pro version, you can go ahead and upscale it. And so I might as well go ahead and do that. Um, but there are lots of free options too. So if you don't have Playground and you want to play around with it, you can get on for free, check out some of the, the free options. So there's free templates that you can use. You are limited on how many designs you can do. I think it's every three hours you're allowed so many designs. And that's true, by the way, whether you're on the pro um, platform or the free platform, the numbers just vary. Okay, so it is upscaled. So now we can just go ahead, download upscaled. It'll download it and it'll actually use AI to title it for you. So you don't even have to come up with a title for it and it is downloaded. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back over to Print KK, and we're gonna go ahead and just upload that. 
Okay, so I've gone ahead and uploaded it here. So I can just click on that and it is going to put it right here in my design. So now it fills up the whole thing. And right now it's going to say print quality average. Obviously, it's not meant to be expanded that big. But what I can do is go ahead and shrink this down until I get print quality is good. I'm going to go ahead and move it right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pattern it. So I'm going to go up to the top where you get these four little squares. And I'm just going to do the regular uh, grid pattern. And all that's going to do is it's going to stack it. And so now what I have is print quality good, and it's going to look like this. And that is actually pretty cool. And so I could, of course, make it smaller if I wanted to and make those lines really close together. Or I could make it, you know, a lot bigger as long as I stick with print quality good and not print quality poor. So, you know, I could make those lines pretty big or I could make them pretty small. And I can see over on the right hand side, obviously what it's going to look like. And I can go from there. So depending on, you know, how many lines I want there to be, something like that, it looks pretty good. And so it's just a cool abstract looking thing. It's got the teal colors. It would work well, you know, if you've got outdoor, you know, furniture this color. Of course, you could also do a rug to match and you can do a pillow to match. So I could do a whole matching set with this, this quick AI, you know, abstract pattern that I could put on everything. And of course, it would be unique. Nobody would have exactly that pattern or exactly that color. And so that is some of the cool stuff about AI is there are definitely ways that you can use it um, to get good, unique things quickly. Um, and so I like this super easy. All I would have to do from here would be go ahead and hit save. That'll go ahead and then save that to my design section. I could then go over to my designs and then from there I could publish it if I wanted to, to my Etsy shop. And so pretty easy to do. And so I hope you guys found some value in this video. I hope it gave you guys at least some, some good creative ideas of different types of things that you can do. Again, if you have any, um, any questions, put it in the comment section below. If you have any video requests, you can put that in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I will go ahead and put a link for Playgrounds. There's already one down in the description section under this video, but I'll go ahead and link it in the comments as well if you're interested in checking out Playgrounds. Um, and because you guys were so patient and did wait until the end of the video, I do have another five bonus niches for you. So without any more waiting, these are going to be your five bonus niches. And I did go ahead and just go with kind of evergreen designs that are trending now. So number one, you can never have too many guitars. And of course, you could scale that out, substitute the word guitars with just about anything that you might want to collect. Number two, Dear Math, grow up and solve your own problems. I just thought that that was very funny. It's funny for anybody, but you could definitely market that towards like a math teacher. Number three, rock, paper, metal. And so I have seen shirts where they have like the symbols. You got your, you know, like your rock, right? Um, paper or however they did that or paper like this. And then they had Whoops, if I can do that, is that the metal, right? <laughs> and so just some cool symbols that I've seen on the shirts, uh, you know, funny take there. Another one, um, <laughs> number four, a duck, duck, flamingo, right? So much like the one above it, we're just kind of taking a, a spin on a kid's game almost and just making it funny. And then number five, pickleball makes me say bad words. And as pickleball is the, you know, fastest growing sport in the United States right now, pickleball is taking off and pickleball designs are taking off. So there's lots of different designs that you can do for pickleball right now. Um, and so again, I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you guys are continuing to grow, learning new skills, expanding your portfolio again. Um, and I do hope to see you guys again soon. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.